and you are wearing your Google Glass. So does that mean that you know, you, even though you don't know everybody in this newsroom, you can sit, you can tell who's in here? Uh, there's a number of people that have actually gone ahead and checked into the Bloomberg building, so I'm able to pull up their location information and see that they might be nearby. And if uh, friends of mine in particular have uh, checked in or are using social radar, I can see that they're nearby, how we're connected, and what they've been up to. Okay, so tell me, how does this work exactly? So the, the idea behind Social Radar is just as you described. We give you real-time information on all the people around you. So if you walk into a room and you can use your smartphone or now your Google, Google Glass, Glass right. Uh, right in front of you it'll say, hey, there's 10 people here that you know, three of your friends, two coworkers, someone you went to college with, a guy you ran into last week, and uh, three friends of friends. And by the way, your uh, friend from college just got married and your coworker just got a new job. Hmm. We aggregate together all the information from social media, as well as any location events that happen, and then combine that with all the location gathered by the social radar application to give you that outline of who's around you, how you're connected to them, and what they've been up to. So you have to have your locator, uh, your location uh, uh, button open, though, right? You have, it has to be on, obviously. Yeah, it, it, it either has to be on if you're using social radar, or again, we monitor all the major social networks, when people check into Foursquare or post okay. a photo on Instagram and share their location, we get that data know. as well. Um, and how do you make money from this? Uh, there's a tremendous amount of either direct advertising or e-commerce opportunities when you're able to uh, know where people are and then offer them things that are very uh, directly relevant to them, not only based on their social profile, but based on where they are at the moment. So there's some pretty big e-commerce opportunities for us, but right now, but we're you're really not, not partnering with anybody at this point. No, not, right now we're making sure we get our app in the hands of as many people as possible to try out what we think is an incredible technology. And how many people do you have signed on or that you are able to aggregate? Oh. We just released our iPhone app a couple of weeks ago. Google Glass just came out this week, but we have seen incredible strong growth just in a couple of weeks. And why did you want to do this? Well, I've always been fascinated by the fact that there are literally now uh, over a billion smartphones uh, in the world, uh, which are in a sense broadcasting your location all the time. And there's over two billion social profiles up in the cloud, yet right. no one has cross-referenced that to make it useful so that when you go to an event or a conference or a meeting or go to a restaurant, you can get a sense of who's around you and how you're connected to them and when all of that technology is there. So we went ahead and invented that technology. But isn't there something scary about that too, though, Michael? Well, it's only scary if you don't have control over your privacy. And one of the yeah. first features that we... I don't want everybody knowing where I am. That, that, that is often a concern. Uh, and we built into Social Radar the ability to control your privacy. So you could actually share your information and your location with everyone. You could limit it to just your friends. You could be anonymous or even invisible. So we really give you full control over your privacy. Mm. But yet, let those people that actually want to share their location or be an active part of the, the community... But, 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 but your hope is that they don't, though. Because if they all control that, their privacy, that's not going to help your, your company. Well, you know, I can tell you that just from the early user base that started to utilize our technology, over half of them are find sharing their location and their information just openly to everyone. And uh, the other half then is split between just sharing it with their friends or maybe being invisible or anonymous.